All right. Uh, good evening and welcome to uh, Mass Talker Online Class. Today we'll be talking about uh, uh, sequence and series, geometric progression, and uh, a geometric progression is a um, is a sequence which has a constant common ratio between two preceding terms. Okay, it has a constant um, a constant common ratio. That is the ratio between two terms must be the same. What do we mean by that? To get the second term is the first term times that common ratio. Okay? So if you look at it, if the common ratio is R, this is the first term A. So the next term is what? A times R. The next term is what? This one times R. So anyone you want to get, you will say that one you want to get times R. <coughs> okay. So the formula to get um the nth term of a of a geometric progression is what? Tn is equal to A R raised to n minus one. This formula is very, very important. Okay? This is an important formula. T raised to power n is equal to A R raised to power n minus one. Then, for some of us, uh, geometric progression, the formula depends on uh, if one is less than R or greater than R. Okay? If you look at the first formula, that said that A bracket one minus R raised to power n all over one minus R. Okay, this one, I started with one first. So 1 is greater than R. That's why I started with R, uh, with 1. But in the second one, I started with R, okay? A bracket, R is for N minus 1, all over what? R minus 1. That is if R is greater than 1. So it depends on which one is greater than which. So now the sum to infinity, these are the only uh, five formulas you need to know. In fact, it's three formulas. The first formula is the nth term, which is Tn, A raised to power, A R raised to power N minus 1. Then the second one is the sum, depending on which one is greater than which. Then the third one is sum to infinity, which is what? Uh, A over 1 minus R. Okay? A over 1 minus R. If 1 is greater than R, then A over R minus 1, if R is greater than 1. So, with this, let's start solving questions. When we solve two, three questions, you will understand what I'm trying to explain. Okay? I'm going to solve about 20 questions like we did in uh, uh, arithmetic progression. So the first question we're going to solve said a GP, a GP has a common ratio of three, okay? If the, if the difference between the first and the first and the fifth ratio is 160 is 160 then find the fifth ratio okay solution as simple as that they give us that the common ratio is r R is 3, so we need A. But they say that the first term, the first term, the difference between the fifth term, so T5 minus T1 is equal to 160, according to what they gave us. Okay? Formula for T5 is what? A R raised to power 4. Like I told you, uh, the formula is Tn, which is what? A R raised to power N minus 1. So anything that you have here, the one that will be up here, will be minus 1. So T100 should be what? A R is power 99. So T50 should be what? A R is power 44. Like that. So T5 is A R is power 4. Then minus what? Uh, A, the first term is A. Which they say is equal to what? 160. Okay? So if I if I put my R, I'll be having a what? A bracket 3 raised power 4 minus A is equal to what? 160. So this raised power this is 81. So 81A minus A is equal to 160. So therefore, so therefore, ATA is equal to 160. So my A become 160 by 80, which is what? 2. So the first term is 2. And they say we should find the fifth term. So T5 is equal to what? A R is power 4, which is what? A is 2, bracket what? R is power 4, 3. Raised power 4, which is what? 2 bracket 81, which is what? Uh, 2, 16. 
162. Okay, as simple as that. Very simple. Once you know the formula, just substitute, then you get your answer. Okay, question number two. Question number two, they said the second, the second and fifth terms of a GP are two over three and two over three and one over twelve. Okay, two over three and one over twelve respectively. They say find, find, find the fifth, uh, sorry, find this, the tenth term, sorry, okay, find the first term, uh, find the first term, okay, so we should find the first term, but let's just put, find the third term, find the third term, solution, okay, from what they gave us, they said that it is two, which is what, A, R, raised power one, for the same thing. Okay, which is equal to what? Uh, 2 over 3. And they gave us what? T5, which is what? A R raised power 4, which is equal to what? 1 over 12. Now, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Unlike arithmetic progression, where we subtract, in geometric progression, if you have two equations like this, you divide. So you tell them T5 divided by T2, which is what? A R raised power 4 divided by what? A R, okay, is equal to what? 1 over 12 divided by what? 2 over 3. So what do you have now? We are going to have A cancel A. R, you have R3. R2, remove 1. I'm having R3, which is what? Or you apply indices 4 minus 1, which is 3. So I'm having 1 over 12 times 3 over what? 2. 3 here, 1. 3 here, 4. So I'm having what? 1 over... 8, 1 over 8. So R cube is equal to what? 1 over 8. Which implies that what? R cube is equal to what? 1 over 2 raised to power 3. 3 can cancel 3. So therefore I'm having 1 over 2. So I've gotten my R to be 1 over 2. So once you have gotten your R to be 1 over 2, to get the first term, let's get the first term because you like, unlike arithmetic progression, you must get A and D. But in geometric progression, you must get A and R. So let us put it, we know that AR is equal to 2 over 3, which is what? A bracket 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 3. So what do you do now? When multiply cross the other side, it becomes division. Or this time this will give you A over 2 is equal to what? 2 over 3. Cross multiply. So I have 3A is equal to 4. So A is equal to what? 4 over 3. So since you have gotten your A and R, you now tell them that what? That T3, they are asking you, which is A R square, is equal to what? 4 over 3 times R 1 over 2, all squared. What do you have? 4 over 3 times 1 over 4. 4 cancel 4. So what am I having? That the third term is what? 1 over 3. Okay? The third term is 1 over 3. I hope I'm not uh, rushing. If I'm rushing, please rewind it 10 times. Yes, rewind it 10 times, you will get it. So, number three, number three, okay, this is the number three, we just saw, number four. Number four said, if four over three, comma, M, comma, L, comma, N, okay, form a GP, Okay, they form a GP. Then I say the product, the product of M and N, the product of M and N is dash. Or rather, find the product of M and N. Find the product of M and N. Okay, so let us try that. Let us try that. The product of M and N. Okay. We know that the first term solution, the first term A is equal to what? 4 over 3. The second term T2, which is AR, is equal to what? Uh, is equal to M. Okay? The second, the third term T3, 
is equal to a r squared, which is equal to l. And the, the fourth term, t4, is equal to what? a r squared, which is equal to n. Okay? Um, All right, find the product of M and N, okay, the product of M and N. Okay, now, uh, let's do this. Let's get our R from these two, M and N. I know that what, A, R is equal to M, and uh, equation one, and A, A, R, Q is equal to N, okay? Uh, if we multiply these two, if we multiply these two, or rather, if we divide, let's divide. If we divide, I'll be having. If we divide, if we divide, I'm, okay, let me divide. Let me say T4 divided by T2. So, which is what? AR is power 3 all over what? All over AR is equal to what? N over M. Okay, so what do we have now? I'm having R squared is equal to what? N over M. Okay? Okay, so now, uh, so R, R is now the square root of what? Uh, N over what? M. Okay? Uh, we need the product of M and N. The product of M and N. Okay, since they say product, let us multiply it. See, they say product. So we need T2 times T4. So which is what? Uh, T2 is what? AR. Okay. Uh, AR times what? AR raised to power 3. Which is set as saying T, uh, T this thing is M times N. So MN is equal to what? A squared R raised to power what? R raised to power 4. So what do we have now? That MN is equal to what? Uh, MN is equal to A is what? 4 over 3 all squared R is power 4. So what do we have? I think uh, let me check if number number 4 Sorry for the inconvenience. The question is a little bit confusing. Okay, I have this. Let's try to get the common ratio. I know that the common ratio is what? This divided by this. Okay? The common ratio is this divided by this, which is what? R is equal to M divided by 4 over what? 3. Okay? And the same common ratio is something as saying what? Uh, the common ratio is something as saying L. L divided by M. Okay? The same common ratio is said as saying N divided by by what? N divided by L. Okay, these are all common ratio. So what do we have now? Take this one, I'm having that 3M over 4. Okay? Is equal to do this one, I'm having um, M L over M. Do this one, I'm having N over L. Okay? So, equating them, let's equate these two first. I'm having that R, R is equal to what? Let me equate these two. 3M over 4 is equal to L over what? M. Which is equal to what? N over what? L. Okay?